Well, if you are a sports fan, I mean, right, welcome to the world. How many of us it brings together, specifically soccer, we're going to be talking about today. When you start peeling back the layers of the onion, you might see some things that aren't so great. Um, that's why Rob Murphy wrote the book called Rotten to the Core. We're going to get to the down and dirty of some soccer facts and uh, what happens on the world stage when money and prestige start to come into play. Welcome, Rob. Suzanne, many thanks. Well, we want to talk about all the joys and all the fun and all the cheering of soccer, but there's a dark side to it that you wrote about in your book. Would you share the general message of that? Yes. Where, where, does, um, where does money and prestige involved, Suzanne? Um, people, you know, sort of, um, people, you know, people will, you know, will lose you know, a certain, a certain moral compass. You know, they, they are prepared, you know, they are prepared to, um, you know, they are prepared to engage in, you know, engage in um, activities that, you know, they, they might not normally do. And, and often, and often money can, you know, money can change hands, um, in, ex you know, in exchange for favors to try and get, you know, to get a decision going, you know, going your way and in rotten to the core I, i've tried to bring that out with them you know with you know with the world cup and um because because in real life a lot of, there are a lot of people who you know who currently who still believe that the, you know that um, that there was bribery and corruption involved and that money changed hands in the war the awards of both 20 the 2018 world cup which took place in russia and the one taking place later this year in qatar so, so who are the who are the bad guys here? Who should we be looking at and going? Wait a minute, they're looking at this for prestige and money. Who are the main players in your book? Well, the main player was the it, it was the Secretary General of FIFA, Francois Picard. Okay. Because he he was he, he saw he saw he saw taking a bribe as um you know it would guarantee it would guarantee him a very wealthy retirement. In, you know, in, probably in a tax haven. So you're talking about major decisions of where World Cups are going to be played or in this man's hands. Oh, very much, very much so. Um, for any any country put it for any country putting in to stage it, it's it, it's um, it's national prestige. It's likely to bring a lot of um, you know, a lot of revenue into the country. So it, it sounds like to me the number one problem is there's, there's no accountability. There's no checks and balances with FIFA if it's just in one person's hand and they could be bribed. Well, Unless it's not, he's passing not, the bribes it's down, not the, just down one the person, way. Suzanne. It's um, there's a, there, there is a there is a FIFA council that is you know that is elected, and they're the ones who ultimately, who ultimately take the decision on who gets you know on on who who gets the rights to stage a tournament. And it's the same with any footballing body with them. Um, yeah, you know, with with the Caribbean, you know, with the Caribbean and Central American one, with North, with the North American and um, South American. So there's multiple hands being greased in this. There, there are yeah, there are, there are a lot of there are a lot of palms to be greased, to put mm -hmm. it mildly. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about why both Russia and England were desperate to stage the World Cup. What's the big deal about that? For England, they last staged it 56 years ago. It has been, and it it has been an ambition to stay to stage it again. They've tried before. They they were they tried in two to stage the two thousand and six World Cup, and that bid was undermined by you know by by football hooliganism that took place in the European Championships two years earlier, and Germany got it. For Russia, um, they've only they've only staged one major sporting event in their in their history. And that was the 1980 Olympics, mm. which we if know you how that remember, went. <laughs> you, if, if, well, if you remember, a lot, uh, several countries refused to refused to attend right. in protest at some um, Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan. Yeah. For Russia, it's um, you know, the, the it's been a it's been it's been a traumatic you know period since the breakup of the Soviet Union and um, the near collapse the near collapse of their economy. And there was a there's been a feeling you know, there's been a feeling that since Vladimir Putin became president that he has been trying to restore their prestige, 
they desperately wanted to stage a national tournament, you know, you know international tournament. Right. And with with the Russians, they they don't they, they don't take prisoners when they, you know, when 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 they go for something. They're root, there's, there's an element of ruthlessness in their national character. Why did they support Scotland and Wales in 2016 for the Euro? Um... Big, to undermine England's bid. The belief was that oh. Scotland and Wales are so relatively small countries. With you know that they wouldn't be able to, they, uh, they would they would get into difficulties and would you know would be, would be unable to stage it. Oh. And and with it, it people would start it, people across the world would start thinking if Scotland and Wales can't stage it, well, then it would be the same with England with the World Cup. They they want they wanted to undermine England's bid. So I, I feel like we're not just talking about the game of soccer. I feel like we're talking about chess. I mean, there's pieces they're putting way out there. Well, when this happens, this will appear to be this way, and then we'll get money from this you know, this entity. Uh, yes, in, in, indeed. In in, in Rotten to the Core, I, I, the scenario I put was um, yeah, was, was that France, yeah, France had been supported by Russia in getting you know, in. In getting the 1998 World Cup, and that Russia was expecting the return of a favour, and with Francois Picard, who's French, in, you know, as Secretary General of FIFA, he was it, you know, he was well placed. What what's the mortality tale for him? Pardon the. Oh, I didn't catch that, Suzanne. Oh, but so what is the mortality tale for Picard? The mortality tale is. You know, you know, it, it, it is that um, if you, you know, sort of, um, it, it's really that you know, Picard, Picard's wrongdoing, you know, uh, you know, sort of land, you know, eventually, you know, eventually land, you know, sort of, um, you know, sort of de denies him the goals that he want uh, that he wanted because so, that, he, so it worked out for him. I mean, yeah, he's because, happy um, he's, because yeah. what he's done is um, he has support, he has supported, uh, you know, a bid. A bid for a major tournament against his own country, right. and then he tries to he tries to dig himself out by undermining the Scotland and Wales bid, and he's and he finds he's got he's on his own. He, he uses his contacts in the European Union. He uses the fact he's friends with um, the British cabinet minister to see if um, he just keeps digging himself deeper and deeper into this. And eventually, and, and eventually, eventually, he's um, you know, he, he's he's facing he's facing prosecution and possible long stretch in a U.S. jail. So he turn he agrees to turn state evidence, and that is um, ultimately brings about his demise. Wow, that is that's very exciting. I didn't see that coming. When when somebody reads this book. Are you hoping to educate them about the truth behind not just soccer, but about? Well, it's not the truth. It's, it's it's not it, it's not the truth. It's it was a work of fiction, right, Suzanne? Okay. Um, there is a there is there is widespread belief that corruption did that did take place, both in relation to the tw tw 2018 World Cup in Russia and the one taking place later this year in Qatar. Right. But it does open your mind to the fact that there. Is corruption among all sports for real? There is yes, stuff going happened. on that we don't know. It's, it's happened. There's been uh, there's been um, there's, there's been question marks about you know awards of the Olympic Games in the past. Sure, because that that is highly prestigious for the country that you know the country that stages it as um you know as as Britain will know from from ten years ago. Right, right. What are you hoping people will think about this? Do you want them to do anything or feel a certain way after they read your book? Well, it, I think it's understanding that um, you know, you know that um, there's no there's no single there's no single villain of the piece. Hmm. Everyone, you know, everyone everyone bends you know tries to bend the rules a bit in order to um, you know in, in, in order to get you know get benefits for themselves. Yeah, we all do that, don't we? Yeah, and it, it shows. I mean the um, you know, it, it it shows. I mean, the you know the British government is you know is desperate to get the um you know it you know the two the, the two thousand eighteen World Cup. Um, there's there's division you know there's divisions over the Scotland and Wales you know Scotland and Wales getting Euro twenty sixteen, and indeed it's one of the ministers, Mark Rudge, who um 
yeah, it, you know, who, who assists P, you know, Picard and um, you know, tips him off that um, the FBI are after him. Wow. How did, how did you get the idea for this? Well, um, re well, it's actually re you know, a certain amount of reality. Um, there was, so it's, there, a there bit, lot, it's a little there fiction was, and a little nonfiction. Am I understanding that? Yes, it, there was there was there was a, there was belief in certain quarters that the you know that um, that you know that Russia did bribe its way to get in the 2018 World Cup, sure. and that Qatar did the same for you know for the 2022 World Cup, mm -hmm. um, and and also also um, 2015 that was a former US former US Attorney General Lynch. Was ready to to look to start prosecutions of FIFA, along with several other you know, leading soccer officials. Hmm. So that so that led me to that led, led me to think that um, this was no this was more more than ordinary. There's more, and and uh, well uh, and also um, um also I weaved in the um, you know the issue of um, you know Scottish and Welsh devolution. And um, the desire of both of their both their countries to um, stage a successful you know major tournaments, and even Brexit. Yeah. Because yeah. at the end, at the, at the end, there's a change. Yeah, there's um, you know, the prime minister. There's a change of prime minister. Um, they come up. They they come up with the idea of um, reining back some of the powers from the devolved administrations, which gets leaked, and it coincides with the votes. Yeah, with with the with the, um, yeah, with, with the further vote for um, for the 2018 World Cup, right? And it ends up Russia retaining it. It's a great book. It's very interesting. I was just going to ask real quick: you have anything uh, that you're working on right now? Not at the moment, Suzanne. I've got a few ideas for a possible third novel. Well, you have spun very cool amounts of fiction, nonfiction, history political you know genius into this and we're just really excited we want to get the word out and i hope that um if you're especially a soccer lover that you will consider rotten to the core by rob murphy we thank prime seven media and uh they made this interview happen rob tell us where your book's available um my, my publisher author house you know has you know, can you know has copies available on their website both um yeah, you know, yeah, you know, both you know, both you know, Kindle, you know, both in Kindle, and you know, hard, you know, sort of softback and you know, softback and hardback. In addition, copies can be bought from Amazon and Barnes and Noble. Wonderful, that's great, Rob. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great day. Many, many thanks. Thank you.